<clears throat> good morning guys so today this today video good morning guys so today's video is going to be a little bit different so in my opinion i believe that this car the 06 to 2011 honda civic aside my car's a 2011 the last year before they went up to the nine gens so this is the eight gen honda civic si and why i believe in my opinion five reasons why this car will be one of the the best jdm cars later down the road and the reason why so i'm gonna make a video about that i know i've been seeing recent videos where they added like the s2000 is um one of the best um, JDM cars, of course, RX-7, NSX, all the rest of those 90s cars. But this car is definitely a JDM car that you have to love and respect at the same time, especially the motor. The motor, a lot of people have been running um, K-Series engines. So this is a K-20 and a lot of people have been doing swaps in them. I've seen an MR2 K-20, I've seen um a lot of these k-series and older um like eks and different um older hondas integras and the k-series is basically taking over so definitely this car is like an icon for the motor the transmission may suck the transmission is like glass when it comes to especially boosting your car and with the stock transmission it's like glass but the motor take you could do 10 pulls in this motor bang the gears beat the hell out of the k20 series and the car the engine will still hold up the the engine will take it so this motor in the k series is a strong definitely a strong motor overall but definitely 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 i would say the motor is what makes this car to me the motor is what really makes this car and makes this car shine especially compared to the agents so the agents you we rev all the way to ak the rail limiter stops at ak mine just said that 85k but in vtech and this car is tuned so vtech kicks in around 42 and it keeps going all the way all the way all the way four five six seven eight eighty five and it just keeps going so one thing a lot of people like about the k series especially this car and compared to nine gens and ten gens where it stops at like 65 seven grand i believe now it stops there one thing about this car that everyone loves is the long it reps all the way to 8k like all of the past uh uh, old old cars that's like an icon like the s2000 can rev to 85 9k um i believe the nsx can has a um, long range of revving but high revving motors for honda is definitely the key a lot of the new ones like the 9 gen 10, 10 gens they stop around 7 8 and you really don't get that fun factor where you're at 42 in the car you're like okay boom and the car just keeps pulling you're at seven grand you're like oh dang i still got one I still got all the way to eight grand, 85K, and the car just keeps pulling. Even at 8K with the cartoon, you feel something else kicking, and the car just keeps flying, flying, flying. You're just in one gear. You're not even in the next gear yet, and you're like, oh, my God, this car just keeps flying, 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 flying. But I'm going to give you guys my top five reasons why I believe this car is one of the best cars to get overall and of course it's going to be one of the best jdm cars that you can get so let's go i would definitely say this car even with bags on this car and it has a mode where it has an anti-cross load and it like pumps uh air in each bag when you hit corners and stuff and you you don't there's no body roll at all but even with like the the car handling guys handling for this car is amazing overall even stock the handling is crazy so even if i was like to get vtex around this corner go up this hill as you guys can see take this corner with no brakes just easing into it with one hand guys one hand it's really the handling on this car is amazing and then Overall, I would definitely say handling 
is amazing on this car and is one of the best. And of course, this car is lightweight, so definitely handling is on my list. Also, I would have to say power, guys. So I'm gonna do a fourth gear pull. We have fourth gear. I'm gonna do a fourth gear pull. So VTEC kicks in around 42. So I'm gonna get off of it and then put my foot down so you guys can hear it. And y'all can hear it. As you guys see, we're going, we're catching up to this car and we're not even nearly to freaking 8k or 85k so definitely guys definitely and we're only in one gear so imagine us just like flooring it and with VTEC and going all the way to 85k and then shifting and then going all the way back to 85k this the, it's amazing and the car just keeps flying 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 and pulling and it's crazy so definitely for this car I will say power for this car even though it's not a lot of power this car's tune is around 224 horsepower but overall for how light the car is with this much power it makes up for it and you guys can look up videos it definitely handle it definitely beats some cars out there tuned with just bolt-ons and there's other cars with even turbos on there and this car still beats it some way somehow so that's pretty amazing overall so definitely we'll have to say power for this car is amazing VTEC all day every day gotta love it so I talked about power handling number three I would definitely have to say about this car is re reliability the reliability of this car is amazing so one thing that's of course Hondas are known for is good gas mileage Yes, the SIs do take 93, but the gas, depending on the gas prices, it takes about, depending, maybe 20, 30, 40 dollars at the most, depending on the gas prices, but that's still not bad. I, before I had this car, I had an automatic, and it's about the same price for uh, 93 and 87. So, this car does take premium, it's really good on gas. Um, usually this car, depending on where I drive to after work, the gas can last me up to two weeks, um, two weeks or at least a week at most. So it's really good on gas. Even if you go to different places, uh, on your break for lunch and stuff is really good on gas. Also this year, this car has been really uh, reliable to me. I went up to, I believe New Jersey this year, twice on bags, on bags. I went to New Jersey twice. I went to, uh, uh, Pennsylvania I went to Philly uh, once this year also so this car has definitely been uh, driven this year this car has been driven really hard this year and long distance so definitely I would have to say that this car is definitely the reliability of this car is amazing and it's been doing what it's supposed to do and have good gas mileage so you gotta love the thing about Honda's is reliability and it's freaking amazing. This engine with VTEC is amazing. Reliability, get on the car, drive long distance, and the car gets you to point A and B with no problem. You have to love that. You gotta love that about this car. And number four, the fourth thing that I will say about this car is the uh, parts and stuff for this car is um easy to fix so i would say this car is easy to fix easy to work on for hondas in general they're easy to fix easy to work on definitely um oil changes for this car is about only 36 38 dollars for this car i think you need like what i believe i had like five quarts and a filter and it was only like 36 38 dollars so really cheap to change keep keep up with maintenance with the oil um of course the tires are pretty small it's not like 230s 305s you got to pay expensive tires so the the tires on this car is pretty small it's like 215s by 40 uh 45 by 17 so stuff parts for this car is pretty cheap um what else let's take a look at this car let me share it share with you guys so definitely i will say parts for this car and if you if any issues or anything come up with this car 
it's pretty cheap. It's not an expensive car. It's not like a BMW or a Dodge or a little or Acura. This the parts for this car is pretty cheap to change and it's not bad. I believe the rotors were not the rotors, the the pads were like only a little like a hundred bucks or a little under a hundred bucks. So that was pretty cheap. Even like the aftermarket parts for this car is cheap. Like the front lip, I think, was like 300 bucks. Uh, minus the Mugen parts, we're gonna cut that out. The Mugen parts, of course, the limited edition parts, so they're ex pretty expensive. So my side skirts, the side skirts, uh, the wing, the only Mugen wing, and the rear lip right there. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty expensive. But overall, parts and doing stuff like here and there, like visors and stuff like that, it's pretty cheap overall for this car. So definitely, I would say. Parts for this car is pretty cheap. If something breaks or something, it's not going to break your pockets that bad. So that's pretty good. Things for this car is pretty cheap. Easy to fix. Oil chain is, oil changes are pretty cheap. Not, not bad at all. So this car is definitely fun and easy to work on overall. And number five, I've been thinking really hard for number five. And I would definitely have to say the interior. They did a really good design with the interior that makes this car stand out. Especially with, as you can see, the steering wheel is kind of like a sporty look to it. Got the volume for the steering wheel. The... The way it's curved and everything you got the si logo right there the digital display up top when you turn the car on you see all the gauges and stuff and it becomes digital and you can see everything so that's pretty cool and then of course you got the zero you got the miles per hour and the numbers it's all digital then you also have the premium auto system audio system in here where you have the speakers in the door and you got the suede material here with the red stitching and then you got some more up here the red stitching and then the seats and then the si logo in the seats and then back here you got i don't know if you guys can see you got the subwoofer right there in the middle right there you got the subwoofers and the two speakers on the side so you got some a, a nice little sound system in here with some bass that's really nice you got the sunroof for the sporty feel to it so definitely i would say they did a hell of a job with the interior of course you got the e-brake right here the manual gearbox right here in the middle everything is directly right in front of you so i would definitely have to say they did a good job with the interior inside the car the visibility especially for the sedan and this is mainly for the sedan this uh, the sedan that i'm reviewing too the coupe is it's pretty nice also i've been in the coupe but it's really dope and in in the seats they're kind of like a sporty feel they got the little bulky sides to keep you in place so it is really nice so definitely i will have to say the interior for number five they did a hell of a good job also can't forget about traction control you can turn it off really dope all together really dope so definitely the interior that also makes up for this car that makes the car stand out so definitely so number one i said that the power the handling the reliability easy to work on uh easy to work on with fixing the car modding the car maintenance etc etc and number five the interior so to in my opinion this is what in my opinion makes this car really an iconic um jdm car that's probably gonna be for like the 2000s area is really this is really a neat car that they came up with especially of course i did a bunch of stuff to my car and it's really modded but it's really an iconic car and in 2008 they actually made it made a uh limited edition version of this car in 2008 2008 they made a honda civic mugen si limited edition so they made a thousand of these um limited edition si's all around the u.s so only a thousand was made so that's really iconic and the company that did it was mugen power they're, they're located in japan so it was that 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 in itself is really special of course if you make a limited edition version of the car 
definitely special and it's pretty neat it's pretty neat even i have some of the parts that you guys have seen and i'm going to share the car with you guys so the Mugen uh comes with these side skirts this four-piece wing one two size and the one in the middle and then you got this rear lip that makes the car look even lower in the back so definitely have to say this car all together they did a really good job of this car and for being a small compact car it looks pretty amazing all together the car's aired out right now cars on bag so overall the car looks pretty sick overall so definitely i would say that's why this car in my opinion is definitely one of the iconic cars from like the 2006 to through 2011 this car is definitely iconic so definitely guys that's my opinion on this car and the top five top five things about this car in my opinion that's really uh, that make this car stand out is really a good jdm car and that's it so if you guys like this video and can also agree and give me your feedback on what some other things that you guys want to uh, touch on that you guys think really stands out about this car or this car in general put it down in the description and if you guys like this video definitely smash the like button and also if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel for more content every day every single day i'm going to be dropping new videos at 12 p.m eastern time so definitely check out the videos every single day at 12 p.m eastern time it's going to be amazing and more mods for this car is going to be on the way and next year is going to be wild and crazy so i cannot wait i believe we're at like 169 subscribers left until we hit 1k and we give do the giveaway which would be the gopro hero 5 so definitely i cannot wait i'm excited to finally to give something back to you guys and then 2k we're gonna do a two giveaway for two two giveaways for 2k so i cannot wait so i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video peace and thank you for watching and if there's anything that you guys want to achieve or whatever goal do you have that you want to achieve find your inner drive the thing that makes you wake up every single day find your inner drive and go after it every single day peace